with great pleasure that I announce the winner of the 2023 GRDC Seed of Gold Award to Professor Andrew Barr. When Professor Andy Barr stepped up to the stage at GRDC's Grains Research Update in Adelaide to receive the prestigious Seed of Gold Award, it represented a lifetime of dedication to the grains industry. The Seed of Gold Award is the pinnacle award that GRDC offers. It's an award that is really recognising those people, especially researchers, in agriculture, in the grains industry, that have really made a significant impact to the grains industry. Uh, thank you very much. Um, I'm lucky that I was raised in a family that uh, is deeply passionate about agriculture and academic excellence. My dad and uh, two of his predecessors were farmers in the Pinery District and I guess when I came into the world it was you know, a couple of milking cows, it was chooks, it was pigs, it was cropping as well. And during high school I really loved uh, science, I loved biology, and I knew I wanted a career in agricultural science. And what a career it's been. In half a century as a plant breeder, he's developed 24 varieties of oats, barley and wheat, and he's made his mark on the international stage too. It was the sound of a crying, starving child, played at a plant symposium in the United States at the very beginning of the young Andrew Barr's career, that set him on a path to help alleviate global hunger. You can't do anything else clever in agriculture until you feed people. That's a fundamental goal that the world should set itself. And then we can talk about other things after that. Andy Barr has published more than 200 science, technical and conference extension publications, has had numerous leadership roles within GRDC, including six years on the Southern Panel. And it's his years as chair of the International Maize, Wheat and Improvement Centre, CIMIT, in Mexico, which are some of the most memorable. The CIMIT has 1,300 people that work in the 70 countries around the world and has a huge impact on the food security there and so lucky enough to travel with CIMIT to a lot of places I've never been before um, through some really tough places in Africa, in South Asia, Central America and seeing starving people has an indelible impact on you. On top of all incredible scientific research and leadership he's also operated his own farming business in Pinery in the Clare Valley region of South Australia. Chair of GRDC Southern Panel, Andrew Russell, says there have only been seven Seed of Gold recipients. It's that rare and prestigious. The panel votes on participants. It then has to put forward a, a case to the GRDC board. So it's quite a rigorous process for somebody to be awarded this, this award. I think you could tell from my face that I was pretty stunned. Uh, I was very, well, very surprised and yeah, very humbled to receive it. Yeah, it was very nice. In an earlier presentation to the GRDC Grains Research Update in Adelaide, Professor Barr had implored the audience to think more deeply about the role of farming. We are very focused on productivity and profitability and that the wider community and some big thinkers in global uh, issues are thinking way more, many more dimensions to the agriculture story than just productivity and profitability. Some growers appreciate, but perhaps not enough, that we do have a big environmental footprint, mostly around our use of fertiliser, both in its manufacture, its transport, but also its on-farm use. And he says all models of farming, including organic, regenerative and conservation agriculture, should be measuring far more than just soil salinity and acidity. Now the soil microbiome, which gets so much airplay, we can now characterise that with the latest genetic techniques. So we can measure diversity quantitatively, we can measure abundance quantitatively, we can measure the ability of those soil microbes to cycle nutrients, to store carbon. We need to be measuring things like that. 
so we can see the overall footprint. It's going to be part of our social licence to farm in the future, I think. Andy has got uh, th that unique ability to be able to talk science and talk really complex issues, especially in the breeding fraternity, but he's able to articulate that to growers in a manner that growers can interpret and understand it. And, and that is just such a gift. Oh, I guess my family, agriculture flows in their veins and we have loved working in field crop agriculture and so it's something we are very uh, passionate about and uh, to think that somebody else thought I might have done something useful was kind of nice.